Hi, I'm John DiArmo with the Coquille Valley Sword Group, and today we're looking at Article 12. So, let's dive in. Article 12, striking and hitting. Striking and hitting are different. Striking means whatever path the sword may take, you must have a, def a definite target in your mind. And, as with test cutting, strike the target with all your strength and spirit. Hitting, on the other hand, means if you are not able to strike properly, to hit with the sword any part of the opponent. However strong this hit may be, it is not a strike itself. Whether you hit the body of your opponent or his sword, or even if you miss a target, hitting is not pointless. In short, hitting is a preceding attempt in order to carry out a real strike. This must be carefully practiced. So, uh, this is uh, this is another one of those articles that is so much more simpler than people tend to make it out to be. Um, basically, what we're talking about is uh, utsu and uh, ataru. Uh, utsu means uh, we we can think of it as a deliberate intentional targeted strike whereas ataru is um, more like uh, really effectively swatting at the enemy um, so the point of the article is to bring into your mind the idea that there are two different types of hitting um, some people all of their hits are, are taru, right? They're, they're swats. They, uh, they move to engage with the person. They, they swat their sword out of the way. They swat at the body mass of the person, you know, arm, shoulder, head, whatever. They don't really have a target. They're just trying to kind of, uh, they're trying to get what they can get and get away. Um, very similar to sort of the point sparring of uh, many sort of modern martial arts. Uh, or they'll be on the other side of the spectrum. Then they will kind of utsu only, <laughs> right? right? They're, they're going to wait and they're going to wait and they're, they're like trying to move and position and hunt this like perfect fight ending strike with one blow, right? Um, neither of these is is uh, particularly efficient because they don't they don't acknowledge the usefulness of the other side in other words um, with wanting to make that perfect cut you know of course you want to why because it's going to end the conflict for sure and it's going to end it in such a way that the opponent is controlled which when they can kill you on accident is a, is a really important factor to take into consideration. Uh, on the other hand, it, uh, it has this downfall downside in that you have to have everything set up for it. You can't just sort of like half cockedly go, mm, <laughs> right? You have to focus, bam, into the strike. Um, and this can be difficult to achieve if your uh, opponent is not very obliging, right? If they're contesting against you or if they're working to further their own strategy, right? That's where Ataru is, is nice because you it lets you play and respond to the situation. So you're just, it's like uh, the first five or so moves in chess, right? You're not just jumping to attack. You know, you're, you're setting your positions up to be able to attack efficiently. And that's what Ataru allows, right? Um, but uh, with Ataru, you can have difficulty ending the fight when you want to end it. Um, And how you want to end it. That this is 
he, you got to get a lot of experience with the Shania to, to get a sense for this. Um, but when you do, it, it's pretty clear. Um, so, yeah. I mean, it's, it's simple. Utsu and Ataru. So, how, do we, how does this idea sort of manifest itself in our training in Yoho? Um, well, hopefully, by now you've picked up on it, it's, it's in all our kata, right? So, let's look at, um, not all, but let, let's start at Hasso, right? Hasso, bum, 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 bum. guy swings at us. Do we just swing straight at him? No, right? Bam, Hasso okay, right? We are using that same Ataru motion, right? That Ataru spirit, to swat his sword, set up our line of attack, Oots. right? Bam! And we can move in and, and strike definitively. Um, Ukanagashi, same thing, right? Ataru! Oots. Right? Ataru! Ataru! Oots. Right? You know the kata. Um, so they're all there and they have, they have a different feeling. Right? Now this is not to say that you can't kill a person by swatting at them, right? Because obviously you can't. <laughs> if the other person can kill you by accident, you can kill him by accident just as well. Um, you know, not even, not even speaking about the fact that you're swinging your sword intentionally at him. Um, the thing to take away from this, other than that there, there are two types of striking, is to understand and kind of, uh, look into the feeling difference between the two as once you get that then you can start to apply them where they belong in other words you've got this sort of uh ataru right here you're playing you're positioning you know every motion is working to cut him right but in addition to cutting him you're also setting it up right you're you're improving your position whereas when you strike boom it's uh, it's more like you envelop them. You bring them fully under your control as you bring them down. Um, so, Utsu and Ataru. Uh, if you want to understand these things, you have to pick up a sword and go train. <laughs>